Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews, where I do every kind of review that big boys and girls like to drink, from coffee, every liquor, liqueurs, wines, beers, everything, broken down on people playlists, and the playlist attached to this video, both in the description and the first comment, a link to my bourbon reviews. I got a lot of bourbon reviews. This one, cool. Calumet Farm. Bourbon whiskey, 86 proof. Okay, no age statement. That means it is at least four years old. Um, it is made apparently um, for Western Spirits by Three Springs Bottling Company in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, Western Spirits has uh, bird dog whiskeys flavored whiskeys, the Calumet Farm Bourbon, um, Sam Houston Bourbon, Lexington Bourbon, 20 Grand Vodka, Crew Vodka, and a few other products. And they put this out. So, let's see what's going on with this cool little bottle. I'll give it that. The big bottle looks just like it. Kind of this shape here. Or not kind of that shape there. That shape there. So here's how we're going to taste it. We're going to put it in our Glen Cairn. All right, a nice pour, and then we're going to look at the color. It's a um, very nice copper color. All right, so we know it's at least four years old, aged at least four years, in a new charred oak vessel. Um, and uh, let's see here. What kind of legs do we have coming down this? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's kind of quick moving legs. I don't put too much in there. If you do, I like, um, maybe this is chill filtered, I don't know. If it's not chill filtered, more oils in there, more flavor in my opinion, slower moving legs, thicker. All right. High proof will do that as well. Let's give it a smell. The most important thing is smell and taste, right? So, what you want to do is when you smell your bourbon or any whiskey, just part your lips a little bit so it doesn't burn your nose. I just did it with my lips closed, my mouth closed, and I got that burn in my nose. When you open it up, it helps it escape and you get more of the flavor. So, I don't mean to how to do that, but just part it a little bit like this. Big difference, see? And now I'm getting that butterscotch. The usual vanilla wood, which comes from the vanilla, always comes from the wood. It's present in almost every bur bur uh, bourbon. The butterscotch, they got a citrusy, like a tangerine. All right, let's give it a taste now. Here's how we're going to taste it. This is how professional tastes it. They never really evaluate the taste of a whiskey or even a wine until the third sip. So a lot of times what they'll do with a high proof bourbon is let you put it in their mouth, they'll slosh it down a little bit, they'll let it kind of numb, burn those sensors, and then the second sip, they start to taste things without the burn as bad and then by the third sip that's when we'll judge it so we're going to go ahead and numb those uh, sensors so when you're doing that it's burning right now I'll take a few minutes so we'll just let that go and then it'll subside and then I'll be ready to taste. Um, it looks like you're chewing sometimes. It's called a Kentucky chew. Now, bourbon doesn't have to be made in Kentucky. 95% uh, of it is. It was invented in Kentucky. Um, so a lot of things have to do with Kentucky. A lot of times when you feel a little warmth going down the burn, they call that a Kentucky hug. All right. Now I'm ready for the first taste. A 
I'll judge it on this one. When you do it like this, it's amazing how there's no heat now. Almost no burn and no heat on the third taste. And I'm getting the... Man, these words, I hate to use words that don't, but somehow there's a softness to this. There is a sweetness, butterscotch. There is a vanilla. There is a slight wood. There is a, a bit of a nuttiness. Um, an almond, walnut. Um... I am getting that tangerine orange type taste. Um, something about it seems really mellow, really not intense. Um, just a, I don't know, a smoothness without a burn, without a, a lot of, not a lot of kick. Not a lot of intense flavors, more subtle, more silky flavors. Um, so it's not a big bourbon, in my opinion, uh, with the flavors. Uh, more of a subtle, easy drinker. Um, I think ice or water would almost make this get lost, because it's already, it, it seems like a bourbon that I've already added water to. Um, if that describes it, where you might have a bourbon, you've put a little water in it to see what it does to open it up a little bit, and that's almost where we're at now. I think water to this would would bring it down too much, and it would really mute the, the flavors that are in there. They're not bad flavors. It's just not that complicated, and the flavors aren't that strong. They're there. Uh, an easy drinker, can I say that, um, is how I would describe this. So, not intense. Not particularly deep, um, but no harsh, bad tasting flavors. No um, strong flavors, but some subtle, nice flavors and smells that you can pick out of this. So, well, it's pleasant, it's easy to drink. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, don't forget to subscribe. See, I'm doing my half, you do your half. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, you help the analytics, that's your half. I'll continue on this end. You can bet on that. Together we'll make the channel great. Thank you for being here, and I will see you all on the next one.